Good afternoon and welcome back. On today's video, what I'm going to do is talk about the Hill People Gear kit bags. Currently, I own four of the Hill People Gear kit bags and they are all of different sizes in some shape, form, or fashion or the other. The reason I'm doing this video is all the time that I've been following the Hill People Gear Facebook page owners group, people ask questions from time to time how big is this bag compared to this bag? Can I get this brand gun into this size bag? Can I get this amount of kit into this kit bag? So what I've decided to do is bring out the four kit bags that I own today and take um, the same gear and try to pack it into each one of these kit bags to show you some comparison between them. On our top left hand corner of the table, we have the the Hill People Gear Recon kit bag. Below that, we have the Hill People Gear Original Snubby kit bag. The top right hand corner, the Hill People Gear Medium kit bag. And below that, the Hill People Gear Full SAR kit bag. The first kit bag that I purchased was the Recon kit bag, and I've been very pleased with it and used it for a long time and still use it to this day. And then for work, I bought the full-size SAR kit bag. Been very, very happy with it. Then for just getting out, doing some short hikes, day hikes, just around, just around the farm or checking game cameras or wherever, I bought the, the Snubby original kit bag. It's done me very well as well. Well, recently, last week actually, I took delivery of the medium SAR kit bag. And I'm trying to find a happy medium between the four bags of which one I want to use all of the time and maybe thin the herd out. But who knows, I may keep them all. So stick with me. What I'm going to do is lay out on the table all of the gear I'm going to attempt to place into each one of the kit bags for you and you can make your own judgment upon which kit bag you may decide to purchase at, at a future time. All right, back again. What's on the table right now is what's going to be in my kit bag, regardless of which, which one I'm carrying. It's always going to be with me. Very seldom do I take anything out of this combination of kit here, but from time to time, I do add to it as needed. As you can see, have a write and rain notepad. This is just for general note keeping. A um, write and rain uh, medevac request form is a couple of those. What they'll actually do is fit inside this Hill People Gear 5.8 pouch in the very back of it. Have a fire kit, a pocket bellows, a full size Leatherman Wave. For my navigation use only, have a right and rain uh, notepad uh, cover inside of it. The right and rain notepad will fit inside there, as well as my Sunto MC2 compass and a pen. To the right, I have a Garmin Mini inReach that comes and goes as needed. Red handkerchief could be used for many of things. We all know um, the, the many uses one of those. Got to have some type of snack. I like the Nature's Bakery um, fig bars. Have a whistle. Also have a space blanket that I've taken out of the packaging that came with it, stuck, stuck it inside a small Ziploc bag. Now what I use that for, of course you know it's designed for use to keep your keep the body heat around a casualty uh, to, to treat them for that. I use it for not only that, but for a marker panel. Uh, so if I need to hang up a marker panel for uh, a, a waypoint or to signal something, a lot of the stuff that I do for work-wise has been, been in the aviation world, and if we need to signal to some of our aircraft, they can't see us, hey, you pop that bad boy out, they can see you. I have a Petzl E-Light, that's truly just an emergency backup light. Um, I, I will use it from time to time at night if I'm trying to find a certain waypoint, a marker waypoint, hang it up on a tree or hang it up on a limb in the strobe mode, walk away from it, and then I can find my way back to it. Always have a, a tourniquet for obvious reasons. Uh, the gun changes from time to time, but just for the, the video, I've got a, a Glock 20 and 10 millimeter. There is a, uh, 
a, a compass a, a tool here, uh, some uh, pace beads, ranger beads. These are actually on a, a Velcro panel that will actually stick to the front of the, the SAR kit bags. When I'm not using a SAR kit bag, I have to use traditional ranger beads. Toke's titanium spoon because you never know when you're going to get some food. Uh, not, not, have, not, not having any utensils there to eat. Uh, extra pen, a Sharpie, a liquid IV to get some good, good uh, electrolytes as needed, and a small first aid kit, more or less a boo-boo kit. There's some band-aids in there, some Tylenol, uh, a leave, and I think some ibuprofen. So I know you're thinking, hey, you can add this to it, you can add that. That is absolutely correct because I do add to it as needed. But most of the time when I'm carrying a kit bag, I have a pack where I have a bigger first aid kit, more food, and definitely water and, and other necessities as needed. This is just what's on me. So if I take my pack off, walk away from it, I've always got a gun. I've got some type of signaling devices. I've got a fire starter, notepad, some snacks if I just need, need, need a little snack to get me going emergency light everything there is for a specific reason and here again this this is for my use everybody else out there has their specific needs as well all too. right what i'm wearing now is the snubby kit bag everything that was on the table is inside of this small kit bag with the exception of the glock 20 it just will not fit in this size kit bag but what i put in there is a springfield xds 45 it works fine. All right, what I'm wearing now is the recon kit bag. And as you can tell, I've added a couple pouches to it in order for it to be able to carry the same kit that we had laying on the table and the same kit that was inside the snubby kit bag. I've added the Hill People Gear medium uh, general purpose pouch as well as a single stack magazine pouch i'm not even sure who this is made by i think condor it was just one i had laying around the house uh the leatherman wave good rides in there right now um, the reason this bag doesn't hold the amount of gear the other bags do is because this bag does not have the middle compartment such as other bags this one has the concealed carry uh, compartment in the rear and right now I have the Glock 20 in there um, and the front pocket is a thinner uh, not as deep compartment I guess I should say where you could put your thin thin tools uh, or mat reading tools um, just just small stuff that's not going to take up a whole lot of depth all right next to last is the full SAR kit bag this was the second kit bag I purchased from Hill People Gear and it's very close to being my favorite. This thing is a beast. You have more room in here than you possibly could imagine. You could actually pack so much more into this bag, but I'm not going to do that. What you saw on the table is what's in this kid bag. With the exception of, I've added a water bottle holster in order for me to carry a Grail water purifier. And from time to time, I'll actually swap this grill out for a uh, clean canteen, um, 27 ounce uh, steel water bottle and fill it up with water, go do whatever I want to do. But most of the time when I'm wearing a kit bag, got a backpack on anyhow, additional water, additional ways of purifying uh, uh, more water as needed. And uh, can't say enough about these bags. One thing that uh, Hill People does include with their gear is load lifter straps so when you are carrying a backpack and if you have this uh, loaded heavier than what you really want it to be you would actually suspend this from the shoulder straps of the backpack itself and that takes a lot of the load off, off, uh, off the harness that you're wearing for the kit. All right last but certainly not least is the medium SAR kit bag. This is the newest kit bag that I own. I just received it last Tuesday or this previous Tuesday rather. This is the very first time that I've packed it with anything. So far, I like it. I like it a lot. Here again, the same gear that's in the previous bags that you saw. But as you can tell, this one is 
packed a little tighter because the bag itself is a little smaller. There's no difference in what I have in this pack or what I've added to it than the full size SAR kit bag. All right, to wrap this video up real quick, the rain's starting to come back and, and um, I wanna get out of here before the rain does start coming down. Um, so I've enjoyed doing this video today. I, I hope I've answered some questions you guys might've had about the sizes of the different kit bags and the carrying capabilities of the kit bags as well. So each one of these four actually was able to pack the same kit into them um, as the others. And uh, I'm happy with all of that. The Snubby itself being as small as what it is was very tight, not very comfortable to wear with all of that in there. But if that's all you had, hey, it works. Um, I just got the medium SAR kit bag, like I said earlier this week. And um, today's the first time you saw it packed. First time I put it on, you guys saw it. So I haven't used it any in the woods for training or real world um, um, activities, I guess you would say, uh, since I've had it. But if I was only gonna pick one kit bag right now, I have a 46 inch chest and the full size SAR kit bag felt better to me than all of the others. It only has one inch higher, one inch more in length and one inch taller, I believe is, is what the specs show on the Hill People Gear website. But that extra inch both ways seems to give me a little more flexibility with what I have packed in there and it doesn't seem to be as full as the medium SAR kit bag itself. But hey, I'm not gonna give up on the medium just yet. I'm gonna get out, spend some time wearing it, spend some time in the woods uh, this week and um, see see what comes about with it. Uh, but man, if you guys are on the fence about buying some Hill People gear, go ahead and get it. Can't go wrong with it. If, uh, if, it's, if it's on their page and it shows not in stock, get on their email list and they will send you an email as soon as uh, the piece of gear comes available. Uh, you better buy it then because it sells out quick. Anyway, thanks a, guy, thanks a lot guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.